Let's do this one. Hi, I'm here now. Welcome back. I got a tree. Oh, it's pretty nice. Um, figure that might look a little bit nicer than my shelves in the background there. So, uh, that's cool. I'm still still kind of putting this space together in a way that I want it. Um, I'm, I ordered some some lamps and some some light bulbs and stuff. So, maybe look at better. <laughs> I'm trying. Um, yeah. Uh, welcome. This is Unchowder. I'm live streaming. We're playing Dwarf Fortress. Good stuff is happening. Uh, I'm just gonna get right into it because we have stuff happening. Um, if you remember from last time, where's the button? There's the button. Here's what we're dealing with right now, which... Oh, man. This was a whole thing, wasn't it? Uh, if you recall at the end of last stream, or if you weren't here and need a summary as to why I'm looking at Carnage right now, um, this is the second cave layer. This is directly beneath our throne room. And I have a fancy throne room here that I'm working on, been working on for a couple years in game now. Uh, but the idea is that the throne room sits directly on top of the second cave layer and has a glass floor so that as you're in the throne room, you're looking down at the cave and you're seeing stuff crawling around on the ground beneath you. Because why not? Because that's fun. That's that's what I decided to do. Um, so at the end of the stream last time, we were working on putting in some more glass. It's kind of been a slow process of making glass and then digging out some squares and then replacing those squares with glass and just kind of doing a little chunk at a time. So I decided to do a chunk last week and it turned out that there were a whole bunch of things in the cave directly beneath. Specifically, there was a, a roaming band of ant people. Uh, worker ant woman spearmen. Worker, ant, woman, blowgunner. There's a whole bunch of ant people. And then there was a group of giant toads. Giant cave toads. And giant ohms. They're all fighting each other. Which is generally fine. Uh, this cave layer is like completely sealed off, or at least it <laughs> was. Um, uh, there's an entrance up here that uh, is now open. Um... But otherwise, it's just been completely sealed in. So I've not been, like, keeping this cave safe. I've just been letting the things inside fight each other and, you know, peering in from our, our window above and, and laughing at them. Um, however, it turned out that they were fighting, like, right here this time. Or maybe... Uh, they kind of roamed around a little bit. They were fighting... They were fighting in view of the throne room. Which turned out to be a problem because I told my dwarves to you can even see there's ant people in here. Spoiler alert. Um, I told my I told them to mine out some more space to put in some more glass floors, and they did. And then I told them to build the glass floors there, and then everyone came in and tried to, but then they looked down the hole and said, "Oh no." There's ant people down there. There's giant ohms down there. There's combat happening. I must climb down these trees and get involved on my own. Even though I'm a clother or a priest or literally anyone else. Look at all of these dwarf corpses. I've even lost count. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and probably lost a dozen dwarves down here. One at a time, because every single time someone would come down here, they'd look down, they'd see these trees, they'd see the ants down there, and they'd get it in their head that they belong there, that they need to go down and do stuff and be, uh, be murdered is what happened. They all just murdered, got murdered. 
Um, eat the ants coming up the trees. I had my, my dwarves, my military dwarves stationed up here for a while. Literally had a squad stationed here, ants coming up into the fortress, and civilians going down and dying. <laughs> Uselessly. Futilely. Um, yeah. So that happened for a little while. Um, I eventually, uh, we opened up the, this door. I told my soldiers to go down. We cleared them out. Uh, I think we are now safe for this very moment. That will change momentarily, I'm certain. Um, we've lost two soldiers. I'm going to reassign those real quick. Um, Brewer Master Axe Dwarf, are you... I feel like you're one of my tantrumers. I have... Oh, they're all grumpy again. I was down to, like, two grumpy dwarves. Okay, who are we looking for? We want people with any skill whatsoever. Novice Axe Dwarf, Woodcutter, Competent Mace Dwarf. Sure. Uh, and then you also need one. Also, like, Skilled Wrestler. Or Miner. Uh, Stonecutter. Okay. Just trying not to assign too many important people to my spots. Um, okay, so that's a thing. Um, we're, I, you can see I've marked all of these trees as uh, marked for being chopped down. Because I don't want this to happen ever again. We're going to chop down all of the trees directly beneath our throne room. And then... I also want to mine out some of these pillars. Um, you can see, like, some of these went to the ceiling, but because I mined out the floor, I also mined out some of this stuff, too. Um, yeah. Maybe I don't care that much, but I care a little bit. The tree's the main thing. Um, so, yeah. The other thing that's going on with Cave Layer 1 always with the caves, um, but we have the aftermath of our uh, fish stick project. We have magma up here. We pumped magma up above our first layer. You can see our pump stack over here. And then we dropped all of this magma down into our cave here because this is all cave fish people. And we this used to be all open. This is all obsidian now. There's like, there's some rock over here and there's some rock over here, but this is all obsidian. All the way down here too. This is just a big obsidian flow. Um, so we had two layers of water. There was fish in both. The, la the lava hit the top layer, turned to obsidian, uh, but kind of made these little pillars and then spread out over the layer of the bottom water. So everyone down here survived, even though they are completely encased. Like, they could probably... They'd have to go all the way out here just to get out. Um... Or up this tree, I guess. Hi. Stretch. Um... So that it worked mostly what I, I intended. It didn't work perfectly, because obviously there's still fish here. Um... And it mostly worked due to a the quirk of having two layers of water and the magma kind of floating up above and bring into a roof of obsidian instead of a pool of obsidian. Which would be kind of physically what you would expect to happen. Um, hi, how about you just come over here? So. The in-game way to deal with this would be to mine out some of the obsidian and maybe pour some more in or like it, it i don't know i don't want to deal with this i'm tired of fish people we've been at like 15 frames per second for a couple of streams which is frustratingly slow for a stream i think and i want these fish people gone meh 
the health of our fortress wants these fish people gone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of them. Um, I was doing a little bit of ex uh, research into some BF hack commands. Um, and there's a handy one called exterminate. If you run it without any parameters, it'll tell you um, the counts of all the things, all the creatures in your, in your map. So as you can see, we have a handful of things that are hanging around. Um, there's a, a dozen or so ant men and some, some giant bats and, and stuff like that. Uh, but we have 350 cave fish people on our map right now. I think the vast majority of them are in that little pit there. There's some other s small groups on the side as well. Um, we have a couple demons. That's terrifying. Um, one giant cave toad. Amphibian man. I don't even know what those are. Flesh balls, pond grabbers, magma crabs. Anyway, one thing that you can do, and I actually tested this and then reverted the save, so I, I know what's going to happen here. But what we can do is say exterminate cave fish man and give it to the method magma. And what this will do is it will spawn magma on top of every cavefish person in the map. Which will have the predictable effects of murdering them. Um, I could just, if I run it without the method thing, it'll just kill them, I think. Um, you can you can do water, or you can do magma, or you can just do neither. Um, yeah, by exterminate this, kill the selected unit. It just... Yeah. Uh, kills units by setting a unit's blood count to zero. I guess that's pretty effective. Oh, which means immediate death at the next game tick for creatures where this is not enough, such as vampires. Ooh, spoilers. Sets to animal vanish countdown to two. Hmm. Uh, the script drowns units in the liquid of choice by modifying the tile with a liquid of seven every tick. If the unit moves, the move liquid moves along with it leaving the vacated tiles clean. Um, this is technically cheating, yes. Hi. Um, this is hacking. Um, we're, we're modifying. This is a mod. <laughs> um, it's a single-player game, so it's cheating as much as you want to call this cheating. Um, also, hi. Um, also, I'm going to say, hi, Sino because I'm trying to get better at saying people's names. Hi. Um, at the end of the last Dwarf Fortress stream, I killed a lot of them with magma the hard way, but I didn't get quite get all of them because of layer, because of water being weird, because of game physics, not because of like real world, world physics issues. Um, so I'm going to finish the job. I'm going to pretend as if our manual method worked. It worked perfectly, and that we actually drowned all of the fish people with magma. But I'm going to do so in a kind of cheaty way. Um, main reason for this, as you will see, is we're going to get some of our speed back. We've been at like 15 FPS for a little while now. Um, and I tested this on on a spare save. I just, uh, I just reverted the save, but we'll get like 10 FPS back like immediately. Um, so this will be better in the long run. Um, but, as you will see, uh, this won't be flawless. <laughs> um, we're going to light some cavefish people on fire. I'm going to run around for a little bit. Uh, so, at, there. Exterminated 350 creatures. And as you can see, there is magma where the fish are. Um, the vast majority of our fish are right here, which is beneath where we were pouring magma. So this is just a continuation of what we were already doing. There are some fish over here, which I didn't pour magma on, but I was getting there. I would have gotten there eventually. We're working on it. 
This is, we're just, we're just skipping some steps. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, so these fish people are gonna kind of run around and die. Um, which, like, well, let's watch from here. Uh, we're gonna get some fire as they run around with their, like, their hair is on fire or something. I don't know. Here you can see. But there's a whole, like, look at all that. All this obsidian. All this steam. Just instantly. Like, it even evaporated a bunch of water in here? Because it didn't, like, insert magma into water. It replaced the water with the magma. So it'll turn into obsidian where the two flow into each other. Yeah, you can see all this water flowing in here. That's just going to turn them into obsidian. Or just merge them. Yeah, look at all that. There they go. And this is much fewer corpse cleanup. Much fewer corpses to clean up. That's the sentence. Oh, look. Cave collapse. Uh, probably... Yeah. Yeah, oh, the tree burning down. That kind of, that gives cancellations, I think. Um, so we got some, some fire here, but that's fine. We don't have any dwarves over here. We have some fire over here. Uh-oh. I was on. Uh, a masterpiece. Oh, someone's... Oh, we're burning someone's gear. Oh, well. Sacrifices will be made. Um, Zahn was found dead, but that's from... This other carnage. Right? This is... Yeah. This is where... <laughs> everything else is going on. Okay. Uh, no. Here. One mess at a time. Um, but yeah. So now... The cavefish people are... Dead. I'm very excited for Elden Ring DLC. Um... can go into wild speculation mode <laughs> if you want um uh so yeah we lost we're losing some steel gear here um but i'm okay with that human chancellor cool oh forgotten beast oh no it has webs that could be bad the forgotten beast asmo ostukuling ostukuling uh, an enormous feathered leech. Ew. It has wings, and it undulates rhythmically. A flying leech. Burnt umber feathers are long and broad, but where its webs? A giant, flying, web-spitting leech. I don't like that at all. And you are here. Which means we have to deal with you. Which means we have to abandon our post downstairs to come upstairs to fight something else. That's cool. Um, masterwork was lost. That's fine. Let's clear some of these. Uh, construction of goods. How are we? We're making quivers. No, we need quivers. Uh, okay, so you're fine, you're fine. Uh, we'll evaluate that after Carnage is done. Uh, oh, we got a strange mood. Made a thing. Um, so let's put it over here. It's a Gabbro Mini Forge called Cog. Okay. Let's go in here, because I will forget about this. Uh, is toys its own thing? Toys its own thing. Fuck. Well, um, so that's fine. That's all fine. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, webs? Webs, really? 
But it's a slug? Leech. Doesn't seem to have any scales or anything. It's almost never sick, incredibly tough, but it's clumsy. A clumsy flying leech. Okay, well... I'm gonna tell my spider dwarves. Where the heck are we? We're here. Okay. Oh, I have this closed. That's good. That's a plus. <laughs> um, let's just come here. Close that even. Okay. So the only way that it could actually get into our fortress is from right here. So I'm just going to tell them to station up here. And we'll let it path its way to us. Um, and hope that isn't awful. Let's check this out. I want to see where our FPS settles at here. I'm going to guess like 20, 25 maybe. Uh, all the way down to 22. Okay. Um, I think as the magma cools down and that is all dealt with, I think that will... Hopefully we're on the creep up. But even going from 15 to 20 is like what, 30% increase? So, I mean, that's probably noticeable. I'm um, speaking of... Uh, speaking of FPS, I want to make... Uh, where am I going? I want to go over to where Pump Stack is receiving power. Just here. Specifically, I want to go to our levers. Which I think I these are all these are all things, right? Yeah. Okay. So then this will become pump stack power, and we'll link it. Luckily, this does not need to be magma safe because it's just interacting with the mechanism. Link it up there. And once that's done, we can pull it, and then it'll turn all of these machines off. Um, which will we'll save a few frames and save power. Uh, so yes, let's go keep an eye on this. Hopefully... There aren't too many things going on downstairs in the other cave layer while this is happening. Um, needs pearl ash, okay. This is a slow forgotten beast or something that flies. I'm okay with that though. Anyway, Elden Ring DLC, yes. Obvious day one purchase for me. Um, which is saying something. I really don't buy new games very often. Uh, do you want to path through some fire? That'd be cool. Um, yeah, Mikola. I think I'm excited because I'm really hoping. Oh, 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 oh. Some random baron gonna get webbed. You see all those webs shooting out? I would love to capture this thing if I was set up to do that right now. Uh, this dwarf is dead. <laughs> There's nothing we can do. Um, <laughs> oops. We still have... We're down to a duke and a baron. Okay. Um, yeah, hopefully you don't find too many more people on your way. You are heading down to the farms, though. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy because it definitely felt like, uh, the Nicola stuff was the most left open. 
it seemed clear that we were going to get Mikola stuff, but I'm glad that we actually are, because FromSoft can just flip the table like that and just, oh yeah, everything pointed to us exploring this, so we're going to leave it alone forever. Um, so <laughs> that wouldn't have really surprised me. But I'm glad we're we're getting stuff. I'm, I'm hopeful for some Eclipse stuff. I'm hopeful for some Godwin stuff. I really hope I want to fight Godwin. That's my biggest hope. Um, okay, so we have two. Mm, that's not quite good enough, guys. Where's the rest of my dudes? Are you close? Are you trying? What is that? Splint. Uh, in theory, you're coming from below? Maybe? You're just a fruit? Fruit? Wrestler? Mm. Oh yeah, our hospital. You actually, you are using the new hospital. Congratulations. This has stuff in it. Cool. We have a lot of splints. Um, uh, Dawn is still here. The early simplicities. Can't rename. Oh, I could rename you. Um, okay. I'm worried about this Forgotten Beast. I could just close the door. Right? All these naked mole dogs. Um, you linked? You are still not linked. How does this keep happening? Let's do this. Station here. Now we're gonna close this door. I've linked this twice. This, okay, so this one's way up here. I'm just gonna deconstruct that. That's simple enough. Um. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna let these two come in. And now, we will pull this lever. Hopefully that happens before bad things. No, where are you going? Don't do it. Uh, okay. Now next ports, that's fine. You have to go touch the spot and then come back. Uh, okay. What did you want? You want a low boot. A single boot, because of course. Hello. Death Trooper, how's it going? Those are Dwarf Fortress emotes. I love it. Uh, we are... Don't stop it! Don't go back out! In, in, in. Uh, we have a flying leech in, inbound. <laughs> flying web spitting leech. Oh, really? And a scorpion, apparently. And a, a flying scorpion. Uh, oh boy, you, you, welcome. <laughs> Uh, where is you? You're in the second cave layer. Oh, that's kind of... 
I like the sprite. Um, don't like the implications. Welcome for the fun. Um, we are like dealing with the aftermath of some fun um, from last stream. Here's one of them. Uh, there's there's some corpses to deal with here. Um, it's fine. Um, and then the the other thing that we're cleaning up from is um, all this. This is also fine. This used to be fish people. Now it's obsidian. These are my dwarven fish sticks. Um, so we we cleared out a lot of stuff recently, but now we have two simultaneous forgotten beasts. Um, which means... Well, if I can get this door closed, then maybe we go downstairs and deal with the other one first. No, you need to leave. No, don't plant seeds. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, let's just... Yeah, we'll just do all this. That's not safe. Not safe at the moment. Um, and we'll, we'll assign everyone again. Okay. I have told them to pull this. Someone's, someone's coming for it. Oh, you're gonna get stuck. You're just gonna get stuck. In, in. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay. Now, now the door can close, please. Please. Someone's already pulled it. Did it get pulled while he was standing on it? Okay, well... At this point, we're just gonna fight it here. Oh, <laughs> uh, I guess I would rather... Uh-oh. He's... Nope. Well, we're going for it. Confirm. Webs suck because they stick, obviously. So if you're in close quarters, then there's less... Less bad? Not not bad, but better than the open, I think. Um, meanwhile, this, this scorpion is doing something. Maybe. Oh, there he is. You are absolutely going to find my dwarves. Um, let's go ahead and... Well, none of this is in... Yeah, okay. So I basically already told them to get out of there. The burrow. They're leaving. Good. What are you doing? Up equipment. Okay. I am going to cross my fingers that they get inside and don't get attacked until we're done dealing with this one. Hooray! Uh, oh no. Lolban found dead. That was quick. Was that right here? God. Lilban killed another, the, uh, a different Forgotten Beast not too long ago. Ooh, man. Oh. Please kill. Oh, no. Kill. Kill. Healthy. This is bad. In case... You weren't wondering. Already lost four. Webs are the worst. Odd. Have we done anything to this? Fighting Asmol. Uh, here. 
Groot attacks, but Forgotten Beast jumps away. These are all bad. Where's the part where we're doing stuff to it? Forgotten Beast bites the wrestler in the head. Forgotten Beast bites the wrestler in the head. Forgotten Beast bites the wrestler in the upper front teeth. Releases the grip of the wing on the toe. <laughs> Strikes a forgotten beast with steel shield bruising the skin. You probably have something better. Hi, cat. Forgotten beast charges the wrestler. Um, let's do some frame by frame here because this is bad. is bad. Open up the stream with bad stuff. Uh, we still have these. We have a recruit here. Anyone else coming? Come on. Here, you swordsdorf. Bard in armor. Are you in my squad? Yeah, silver columns is... No, you're a guard. That's a good point, though. I do have all of you who are not wearing your stuff. Yikes. Yikes. You're just on your own now. Oh. Have you taken... I don't think we've even hit it. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Listen, creature. Now... Hmm. Uh-oh. Let's... What else do we got that can swing a sword? We have killed so many forgotten beasts. It's the webs that do it. Uh, Master Axe Dwarf. Wrestler, wrestler, wrestler. Efficient wrestler. You're our dungeon master. Uh, skilled wrestler, you're a miner. Skilled mace dwarf. Uh, I mean, no one, no one has a chance. That's the thing here. What if I gave my entire fortress a kill order? What if we just dogpot? No relevant skills. Uh, proficient Axe Dwarf. Um, expert Hammer Dwarf. Oh, but these are already in the other squad. Uh, um, well then. Telling some peasants to grab a sword and try not to get webbed. It'd be cool if I could just like oil everyone up. That's what they need. Um, okay. Well, I do still want you to kill. Confirm. I want you to kill. I'm just gonna. Oh, this is an awful idea. Only slightly better than letting it run rampant through our fortress. I want everyone to kill. I'm also going to make sure everyone's in a squad. 
Um, in case you're wondering, I have all of my civilians in squads. Uh, they don't have, they don't even have as uniforms assigned. Um, for the sole purpose of they do a month of military training a year. Um, so there's these, there's twelve squads of, of civilians who rotate out. Um, that's why everyone's kind of okay at wrestling. Um, obviously, they're not gonna know what I'll do. Oh, you need a leader. Uh, I think it's basically good. Yeah. Now, we all have a kill order. I want to make everyone except these top three are going to get a new impromptu uniform. Uh, whip. Add uniform. And this is going to be whatever, and you're going to get weapon whatever you want and shields or shields or shield or bucklers uh Inform and save, and then we're going to assign uh. Oh look, another dead hammer door. Oh, huh? What happened? Did someone... Did someone actually kill it? Uh, I mean, I'm not complaining. Wrestler kicks the forgotten beast in the body with her foot. Bruising the brain. Kicked in the body and bruising the brain. Swordsdorf punches the forgotten beast in the wing, but it glances away. Steel body axe, steel battle axe to the body. That's pretty good. That probably really helped it. This was all. Ooh. Cat, please. Okay. Uh. So if we go wrestler, no, herbalist, that's the one who hit the wing, dwarven child, just got caught in the webs. I have a part in this, there's no need to feel vengeful. Uh, Miller? Yeah, killed by a miller. Miller Mestos. Is that... Where are you? You already dead? What happened? Can't even tell. <laughs> There's too many corpses. Jeez, huh, we've lost 50 population in like... A week in game time. <laughs> um, anyway, where the heck is this Miller? Are you still in 
No. There's a lot of webs now. Okay. What's your name? We're already dead. Gomez. No? Miss... Mestthoth? Mestthos? I want to award you with something if you're still alive. Mestthoth. You? How are you up here? You and then the it was right there. Okay, so it is nearby. Or he. She. Alright. You are no longer a miller. You are a Was that a punch that did it? It was a kick. You are clearly a leech kicker. Okay. <laughs> uh, one down. Uh, now where the heck is this other one? Hopefully it hasn't also just murdered people. Zimmin. Um, oh look, all these rotting corpses. Hooray. Uh, well, you're not actively murdering anyone. Jeez. Well, let's just go ahead and do this. Now, of course, everyone's in a squad. Uh, silvery columns. What's that? Okay. Take from our guard squad. Uh, here. Okay. And then we refill from people. Stone cutter. Hello. Trying to learn the game by watching. Use the other games. Well, welcome. Feel free to ask questions. I tend to kind of talk to myself as I go. Um, but we are 15 years deep into this fortress, so stuff has happened. Um, so if anything is confusing, just ask. There's probably a story behind what happened here. Mostly corpses and fire. Um, but yeah, I, we have a couple of uh, new players in uh, in the chat who've kind of popped in and asked questions, so definitely welcome. Very cool. Yes, welcome. You are welcome to lurk. Um, I'm generally a lurker in all other spaces on the internet, trying not to be. Um, but I definitely appreciate... The lurker lifestyle. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give these two squads a kill order on this other forgotten beast, even though they are basically all new and naked. Anyone? We have four people wearing their gear? Four or five? Um... Could just close this door, maybe. Yeah, I get that. Um, but currently restricted everyone from not going out here, right? Yeah, they can go in this little strip here. Um, I'm gonna maintain that, and I'm gonna tell these two squads station over here. Then maybe, hopefully, we have a couple people in the same place by the time. Flying Scorpion gets to us. God. Yeah, I've been working on this for a little bit. I started this fortress at launch of the Steam version. Oh no! Run! Flee! The other way! Flee the other way! <laughs> you're even... oh, you're... Even one of our people. Do you have anything? You have an axe. And a crossbow. And a boot. I hate to say this, but I don't think this is going to go well for you. You're surviving longer than I thought you would. 
Oh, oh. Maybe? What's going on here? Late to the party, you just realized they released this version on Steam. How is it? It's amazing! Uh, they released it back in November. Uh, and yeah, I've been playing it since then. Uh, who the heck is this? Nish. Nish. Um, you'll see some UI changes. Um, there's a couple of feature modifications that we're, we're dealing with. Um, but at the end of the day, it's Dwarf Fortress, but kind of cleaned up a little bit. Um, okay, so Nish is fighting the Flying Scorpion. Wrestler hacks a Forgotten Beast in the foot with Steel Battle Axe. That's good. Forgotten Beast... Hi. Oak. Wrestler hacks a Forgotten Beast with an axe. Forgotten Beast grabs by the arm. Okay, so this is going kind of... Probably not our way. We're still waiting on other people to show up. Uh, so you're you're on your own for the moment. Good luck. Speed. If you haven't seen the Steam version at all, then Marvel... Ooh! You just did it! Oh my god. Nish. Amazing. You you are allowed to ask questions, yes. Noob questions especially. Um Wow. Nish has kicked the beast in the cephalothorax and it explodes into gore. Scorpion Hunter. <laughs> well, that's happy. Um, I was about to say just before that thing died, is that if you haven't seen the Steam version, then you should marvel at these multi tile sprites, which is a thing that wasn't a thing. Uh, that scorpion was like it's one tile now because now it's just a corpse. It's like you're only seeing one section of the corpse. Um, but it was a two by three tile, and they're procedurally generated too. Like, it was a scorpion with wings, and the sprite was a scorpion with wings. It's very cool stuff. Um, but, I think we've dealt with the worst of it? Actually, I'm going to station everyone down here still, because we're still chopping trees. Um, but I'll turn off the... Okay. Uh, okay, I get some mushrooms, but I can't grow them anymore as it says I'm out of seeds, but I have no idea how to have the seeds. I thought maybe I'd get... You do get them from harvest. Um, yes, so you, you get them You get them from using the mushrooms. Um, not from just... Not from harvesting directly, um, but when you use... When you use like a plump helmet, for instance, and a brewing job, a single cavefish person came in. Okay. This just never closed. Hmm. Concerning. When you use the mushroom or like to still to make uh, a, 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 boo a booze, um, or when it's used in a roast, when it's cooked, one of the byproducts of that will be the seed. Um, so you'll, you can go up and see. Uh, let's go look at. Let's go look at my fortress. Um, here's our crafting floor. Here's our kitcheny stuff. Um, but here you can see we have all this prepared stuff. Let's see if I can find any seeds. Uh, plump helmet spawn. The spawn. These seeds. Um, yeah, I think I had someone standing on the standing on it when I pulled it or something. It was connected to two levers, so I need to fix it. Um, mushroom seeds are called spawn, in case that wasn't clear. Um, but here, here's a still. Someone grabbed some, some plump helmets, turned it into booze, and then it turned into a barrel of booze and a spawn. 
and then someone's going to take that spawn and they're going to take it down here. I have, this is my farm area. I'm farming in my cave. I took these walls and I built them all the way up to the ceiling so that random flying scorpions can't get in. Um, but I have a stockpile here that only takes seeds and the other food stockpiles in my fortress cannot take seeds. So I know that all of the seeds in my fortress, so long as you know the hauling tasks are being done and taken care of, all of the seeds should end up right next to the farm. So you can see I have cave wheat seeds bag, dimple cups spawn bag, dimple cups are also mushrooms. Rock nuts, rock nuts are tricky because the seed is also the thing that you eat. Rock nuts you can press into paste, but they are also the seed. So you have to... Rock nuts are weird. Um, but yeah, you, you use the food. Um, even if they eat the raw food, that will also produce a seed. Sometimes if you're in your, your, your dining hall, can't see it now, uh, but sometimes you'll see someone will sit down and they'll eat some food, get up and they'll leave seeds behind. Um, they'll just be like seeds on your table and then someone can come by and grab the seeds and put it in the stockpile. Um, yes, so. Uh, I told my guy to brew some. Yep, so that should take care of it. Uh, yeah. Uh, working out what they do automatically is definitely a big part of this game, I think. Um, we have so much crap to clean up now. Um, when in doubt, assume that you don't have direct control over something. You have a lot of, like, secondary control over stuff. Like, I want I want people grabbing these corpses and, and dealing with them. Um, probably need more space. Here's my corpse stockpile. Um, so in theory, people will be grabbing all those corpses and bringing them back here. Um, I also need to make sure that I have spoons enough because we just lost like 50 people, which is great. Um, so I'm gonna place some more tombs. Um, but like, if I didn't want them down there working on that right now, you can you can forbid the corpses. Um, you can, like a lot of things you control, like if you don't want someone interacting with something, you can forbid it. And then that just means that jobs can't use that item anymore. Uh, so that's a really helpful tool. Um, burrowing is the other thing uh, that you can use for, for controlling where your dwarves are, at least. It doesn't really control what they do. Um, but if you create a burrow and then assign people to the burrow and activate the burrow, then people won't leave the burrow so much. Um, that's what I was just doing right there to kind of get them out of the cave. I told it, basically told everyone that they were only allowed to be inside. Um, and that mostly worked. <laughs> Uh, yeah, correct. <laughs> this was a rather, um, this was a bit of a special case. This was, to be fair, this was like three or four fatality events that happened right on top of each other. Um, but you can also lose literally your entire fortress to one forgotten beast. That almost just happened, by the way. That web-spitting forgotten beast was no joke. It was inside our fortress and killed more than half of our military. We got really lucky. <laughs> if there was, if it didn't die right then, it was going to go to our dining hall and start spitting webs everywhere. Guarantee it. Anyway. Uh, tombs. <laughs> uh, use closest. That's fine. Uh, so we'll play some of these. And yeah, and then I believe we can turn them into tombs immediately. Like that. Yeah. Good. Are these? These aren't even. Uh, not enemies to learn the game currently. I think my fortress is doomed anyways, as I didn't pick a start point with any wood. 
that can be tricky. Starting without wood can legitimately be legitimately be tricky. Um, so it could be the case that you just don't have any wood on the surface, and if you dig down into the caves, you might find wood there. Um, but starting like getting to the cave without wood is also a, a bit tricky. Um, you can trade for wood if you ask your uh, your merchants to import wood. They can probably do that for you. Um, yeah. Every every embark has its own challenges, which is part of the fun, I think. But also, uh, if you haven't been told, losing is fun. That is that is our uh, our motto. Um, all forts are doomed to fail. In fact, all good forts are doomed to fail. Or rather, you should say, all fun forts are doomed to fail. Because if you aren't having fun... Or no. I'm thinking backwards. If your fortress is safe enough to survive forever, then it's probably not very fun to play. That's, that, that's how that goes. Um, failing, it's not failing, it's having fun. We're having fun. <laughs> um, swapped him tetrahedrite for wood. Oh, yeah, that works. Um, the biome here, we are in a evil biome. Um, you can see all of my, all of my plants on the surface are dead. I have trees, they're all dead. Uh, dead chestnut. Dead birch, dead meadow sweet, whatever that is, dead oats. Um, you cannot plant trees directly, they kind of plant themselves and they just kind of grow on their own. Um, but because these are all dead, they're not gonna do that. Uh, the stuff in the in down here though is growing though. I have we have seen new trees in the caves. Um, so it's not completely completely desolate. Um yeah, perfect. It's a learning process. Um, I've been playing this game for off and on for like a decade at this point. And I learn something new every time. Um, I'm just going to let this run a little bit. Hopefully we can really clean some, reclaim some of our corpses. Um, okay, let's... We're making clothes. That's good. We canceled a lot of things because everyone died. Uh, <laughs> Heaven dwellers. Okay. We have merchants that are leaving soon. Uh, I haven't traded with them at all. I've been so distracted. Uh, um, I don't even think I can. I don't think I can trade with them in time. I was just totally ignoring them. Sorry, humans. Right, humans. Oops. Um, a task and a work order. I was distracted by Forgotten Beasts. You are fine. Um, it's fine. We have lots of stuff to trade. We'll trade with the next one. We'll, we'll be fine. Um, I'm going to make sure that none of these are forbidden. Corpses everywhere. Just corpses everywhere. Yeah, I'm, I'm distracted by the carnage. Um, okay, I think, so we have some, we have a squad stationed here, so we're kind of protecting people who are coming down and chopping these trees and cleaning up, so I think we're okay for the moment. Um, and hey, we're back up to 26 FPS, a whole 10 higher than what we were at before. Um... Difference between a task and a work order. Um, a task is kind of a general term that just means that a a job, it's a single job, I should say. Um, like if I look at corpse here, for instance. Oh my god. Oh, there's like, there's a dozen corpses on this one spot. Yikes. Um, this symbol up here. 
It's called the task symbol. It appears when the thing that you're looking at has been assigned to a single job. Um, so basically what this means in this context is that a dwarf somewhere in, our, somewhere in our fortress is currently working on a job to come down and grab this corpse and put it where it belongs. That is a task. That's a job. A work order is done through this screen, which is a bit gnarly at the moment because I have 15 years worth of work orders in here. Um, a work order is a repeating job that you can set uh, conditions for. So you can say like, if we don't have booze, then make booze. And then that will make booze up to a limit, if you put a limit, and then they will stop. And then if you if you set up the work order to do it that way, um, it can basically work, go up to a limit and then stop, and then you'll drink some of your booze, and then that work order will stay there, and as some time down the road it will reevaluate itself. And they'll go, oh, we're down below our threshold of booze again. We'll reactivate that job, and it'll add those jobs to the stills. And you'll make booze until you're back over that limit again. So that's the strength of, of work orders. You're kind of automating jobs, job creation. Um, <laughs> boy. Uh, well, let's assume that everything's okay for now at that particular location. Our lava situation. I have to clean up all of this. This is all like even sealed in. Weird. Um. Oh, and this is finally drying out. Oh, look at all this. This was a lake. It's not a lake anymore. Um, so when I click my stone workers workshop and it says 10 out of 10 rock table items, there are 10 tables in storage, but if I use one, it goes to nine to 10. Um, if you're looking at the stone workers workshop, what you are seeing is, I just messed with all my hotkeys. Uh, let's see if we can find one that has an active job so you can see. Not the stone workers, apparently. Here. Uh, that's not a good example. How about... This is all just red. Who's working on... Uh, brew drink from plant. So this is... Yeah. Um, this is a job that was added here from a work order. So you can even see it has a little work order symbol. Um, if, you're look, if you're looking at an individual workshop, you will see individual jobs. Um, you, can also, you can also assign work orders to workshops directly. Um, a, little more, a little more advanced, I guess. Um, if you were... If you're looking at this screen, if I can find something that's in progress. Here. Um, so I have a work order for weaving thread into silk. Um, and then if you click on this button over here, you can look at all the details. By de default, work orders added to this screen won't be repeating. You kind of have to go in here and uh, this will cycle through the different repeating settings. Uh, so right now I have this to make make 10 silk. As long as we have less than 100 silk. Or no. As long as we have more than 100 silk thread, I want them to be making 10 silk. And then if they complete it, they will check tomorrow. And if we have 100 silk, or if we have 100 silk thread, they will add another weave 10 thread to the looms. Like that seen all this silk. Made some silk. Does that make sense? If you're looking at your stone workers, it says 10 of 10 rock tail. Um, if you're looking at the work order, the work order is only tracking itself, if that makes sense. Um, the work orders don't look at your stocks unless you tell them to. 
Why did it just never got made? Okay. Um. Yeah. I think that makes sense. Um, so this is my trash pile. This is not far from my incinerator, which is here. Um, we even have a bunch of things ready to be incinerated. Um, this is my lava. Um, or fortress can be a little mind melting sometimes. <laughs> um, we have a, a pump stack. Disengage the pump stack. Yeah, inactive. Um, oh, here's our throne room. There, with the ants. There's ant people in the... Ant corpses in the throne room. But it's fine because the queen is dead. <laughs> we don't actually have our monarch anymore. Uh, low boots and quivers. Again, still... still have a low boot. Um, okay, so I'm going to add quiver. I'm just going to make three. So like here, um, I am just adding a one-time work order. My my duke has requested that I make three leather, leather quivers for him. So I'm doing so that way. Um, if you just do it by default, um, by default, you'll just add a one-time work order. They'll make that many things and then be done. Um, oh, dead goose. Um, I can't. You can also do it the other way. I just find it more convenient to do it through the work order screen. But like for if you're just wanting to make one quiver, I could also just go here and do add one quiver. That's the same thing. The only difference is that I'm telling this specific workshop to make one quiver, whereas if I do it through this screen, I'm telling uh, my manager. The manager is the important part for the work orders. Basically, I'm telling my manager that I want three quivers, and the manager, manager goes, okay, uh, we have the leather for that, we have the workshops for that, and the manager assigns uh, the other ones, probably not yet. The manager assigns the jobs to the workshop. So I just find it a little more convenient for, for a lot of those things. Um, you can do it, like, it's they're the same thing, basically. They're just two different ways to add jobs into workshops. One, you're doing it manually. One, you're doing it kind of automated. Wow, that's a lot of junk. Um, oh, I was gonna do like a, a a tour if we have new people here. Oh, here's our here's our library. Um, let's start from let's start from the top. Um, here's our surface. We have a little fort here, some weapon traps. Um, this is like the main entrance, and this is the caravan entrance because caravans can't go over traps. Um, you do not need a the doors will act like they want one for every person they do not need one um, one big dining hall for everyone is totally fine they'll kind of eat wherever there are tables anyway um, like if you have uh, like one of your nobles has a study they will like random doors will just go and like eat in your duke's study sometimes and there's only so much you can do about that um but they do not need individual dining hall nobles do uh like dukes will need their own um, but general people do not um but yeah we have a little tower here fortifications for people to stand on and shoot down which i've never done um and then catapults because i like catapults turns out they don't work exactly the way that i thought they did when i put them here so these aren't these are decorative catapults um, but we even still have goblins in, in our little entranceway. 
we are so backed up on corpse stuff. Um, but we just have this big long ramp that comes down. It comes down here. You can see people coming and going. Um, these are probably all people grabbing, yeah, store item and stockpile. They're taking care, taking care of the trash. Um, but this ramp goes all the way down to our main entrance. Um, the main reason it's so far down is because our fortress is between two cave layers. We have an upper cave layer and a lower cave layer, and our whole fortress is just in between. So this is like just below cave one. We have a fortress. Hey, migrants! Hooray! You're all doomed. Um, but yeah, we have a big long entrance here. And this is kind of just a little fortification for if my soldiers want to be hiding out here and shooting at things if they're if they make it this far. Nothing's actually made it down this far. Um, this is kind of my last line of defense. This whole area here is my military quarter. Um, here's our weapon stockpile. Here's our barracks. Here's our dungeon. Here's the person who killed the queen. Be chained up there forever. Training rooms. Um, places for cages and cage traps and this has a whole bunch of holes in it because we uh, can take people that were in cages and toss them down the pit and then we can have people in here and just fight them and have a little fight club um, animal training area this is our hospital which is currently empty mostly because everyone died pretty sure um it's a well-stocked hospital. We actually have, probably have more stuff to put in here, even. Uh, such as traction benches. Let's toss a couple more of these in here while I'm staring at it. Um, but yeah. Nice big... Uh, Kind of a kind of brand new hospital. Um, basically, everything in our fortress did exist upstairs and kind of by the surface, and I have moved out of it. I decommissioned all the stuff upstairs, and now we've kind of moved downstairs because this is bigger and fancier and nicer. Um, so this is kind of the last thing that I've moved down. Um, but yeah, look, we have all these soldiers moving around, getting their armor set up. Um, yeah, so that's that level, and if you come down a bit, I think we find our crafting, and, um, so we have bedrooms up here, and then little walkways and bedrooms down here. Basically, there's these little hallways and stairwells, and you can go up for that level of bedroom, or you can go down for that level of bedroom. So that's just an alternate to, uh, individual hallways for each of these bedrooms. But those are all our bedrooms. Here's our storage. Here's our trade depot. So that ramp from upstairs came down even further. You can see there. Here's our main entrance. The ramp comes up down from here and then splits. A little pedestrian entrance. And then the caravan entrance keeps going down. Oop, oop, oop. Down to here. And then there's our trade depot. Another little defensive structure. Uh, which I never actually turned into fortifications. So we can do that by carving fortifications. Yeah. Uh, I'm used to it like this. I'll make a bunch of arrow slits um, and then some more traps and some gates. Um, and then this is where all of our uh, trade goods are stored. And then this is all the other stuff. Here's our food. Empty bags, leather, furniture, um, and then the shops themselves are down here, and then all of the raw goods are down here. I kind of made a sandwich. I have raw goods, and then shops, and then finished goods, and then I have all these little stairwells that go in between them. Um, so if people are crafting stuff, theoretically they can go downstairs, grab their stuff, put it in the shop, do their thing, and then it just goes upstairs. Uh, so minimal movement involved in all those jobs is kind of the idea. Um, I have millstones. I have power. 
These are millstones and screw presses uh, for like grinding dye and flour and, and sugar and stuff, such. And then there's a little power shaft coming from below. Um, and then if you come down further, you kind of have, uh, this is our library and these are our guild halls. I don't know if anyone's actually reading in here. People keep, oh, under the sun and seasons, actual library activity. Um, you'll also see people eating in the library because there's tables and you can't stop them. I really wish I could put up a no eating in the library sign, but you can't. Yeah. Um, look, a book. Uh, on the image is a finely designed image of two blackberry bushes in the goose bone. The written portion consists of a 140 page manual entitled The Secret of Surveying. Process of surveying land. The writing is stunningly self-indulgent. Not awful, but not good either. We only have a handful of books in here so far. 18. We, uh, we raided some goblin encampments not too long ago, and I think we brought back some books. Um, and these are our guild halls. And then down here, this is kind of our main floor. Um, this is my bathhouse experiment. It mostly worked. Um, you can see it's all muddy, which is okay, I guess. Um, and this is our dining hall, which you can see there's no one in here. There's a person here socializing with no one. Um, I probably went a little overkill on my, my dining hall, but I don't care. Overkill is fine sometimes. Um, I want to remove... Um, but I basically have this set up as like a giant open dance floor. And then we have a balcony up here with all the tables. And then here's the, the food and drink stockpile. Um, and then there's even another... I was going to do more up here and have more balcony, but I think that's maybe a little too much overkill. Um, <laughs> so this is our dance hall, basically. Um, this is our bathhouse. It's also a social room. Um, there is usually... There's usually water flowing through here. Um, but there isn't because it's, oh, because someone turned it off. Who did that? Oh, it's linked to the wrong lever. That's what happened. The thing that I thought was linked to the, the farm door was actually linked to the turn off the water door. While reading this, uh, blah, 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 whatever. Well, what? The waterworks are kind of one of the specialer things, more special things that I'm doing here. Um, we have a brook on the surface, and I am diverting it underground. Um, you can see basically these. This is a channel here. It kind of flows down underneath. Um, and if these are open like they're supposed to, then the water flows down, goes all the way down. All the way down. All the way down. Um, here. Um, so basically it is... It is going on top of the bathhouse and then we have these little holes in the roof here where the water overflows and then flows down into the bathhouse onto these little plus signs and then it splashes out and makes little mist waterfalls and then it drains into the grates and then the grates and then it flows out and then this is the edge of the map the water flows off the edge of the map um that is my favorite trick for water. Um, in the past, I've done it just for wells. Like, it's a convenient way to do wells. 
um, because like this, like typically I would just have the water come down, have a little cistern. So this is, you know, deeper water here so that you can have clean water. Um, but then you just build some wells on top and then you route the water out and then you have infinite wells and you're fine. Um, so this, this experiment was I was adding in the bathhouse part. Um, we'll see if this... Hopefully they... Hopefully the water turns back on. <laughs> um, but yeah, there we go. There it goes. A little, little slow. It's a little viscous. It, it'll get down there. Um, the waterfalls are important because they make dwarves very happy. At least a lot happier than they would be otherwise. Um, so what I've done here is I basically have the main thoroughfare of our fortress. The stairwell goes up to uh, like the bedrooms and workshops. This is the only way to get into our dining hall. This is the only way to get to uh, this stuff. Um, but basically everyone's walking through this intersection, walking through a waterfall, getting a happy thought, and going about their day. And that's... You, you can see that we need it. We have some grumpy people. Hopefully that turns on. Um, this is our royal quarter. This is our throne room. Very happy with this. I'm hoping that we can get this finished. Um, mostly just working on making more glass for this floor. But it's basically like a big inverted pyramid kind of a thing. With a glass floor looking out into the caves beneath. Um, and then we have bedroom and dining hall and throne room, or uh, tomb. But again, our queen is dead, so no one's actually using us for anything. Um, paused, right? Yeah. Um, and then this is where our artifacts go. Um, same kind of principle as the bathhouse. This is like a, a main thoroughfare. This is a you go down to the magma forges down this way, and then here's you know food and stuff. So they have to walk in back and forth. Um, this is where I'm storing all of our artifacts. The double, the benefits to that are that uh, people can get happy thoughts as they walk by. They can examine the artifacts and go, "Oh, look, that's a neat cabinet," and that that's a happy thought. Um, the other benefit is that people will try to steal your artifacts. Um, there's a couple different strategies for protecting your artifacts. But this is... This simple method is put it in a high traffic area so that no one can sneak around without being observed. Um, which has mostly worked. I think we've had one thing stolen since we've moved it to this situation, but... Uh, not as many. We lot we've we have quite a few stolen <laughs> artifacts floating around in the goblin pits up north. Um then we have temples. This is a big temple, this is a big temple, these are all small temples. Um you can see people in there every once in a while. What was that? Great cavey pup. Um and then these are nobles' quarters. And then these are our, our water wheels. So uh, the other benefit to the way that I'm doing the water is I've basically moved the river downstairs into my fortress. This water is flowing. So I put water wheels on top of it. And now they power my millstones and they powered my, my magma pump. So I, I basically routed a river down, used that power to ma route magma back up. And it worked. I killed a bunch of fish people with it. We still got corpses everywhere. We should dig out more space. Uh oh. That's fine. Two more quivers. Of course. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And then we'll just do two. It's fine. Um, oh, and the other the other part of our fortress, there's the trash pile, of course. Um, but here's our magma forges. Um, this is just a naturally occurring lava situation. And then I kind of routed it out into here. 
and then you build workshops on top, and then you can do magma stuff. Um, you can smelt and uh, forge things without needing fuel, which is amazing. Otherwise, you're burning a whole bunch of trees to make all your metal stuff. Um, but here I'm using the heat of magma to forge things. Look at all those corpses. Okay, tombs. Here's our tombs. Good morning. How goes the mine? It goes well. We are burying a lot of people. Um, these are all taken already. Um, we lost about 50 people in the span of a week or so in-game time. Which was fun. It was like three or four different things happening at once. We had several... Uh, we opened this stream with two... Two Forgotten Beasts at the same time in two different caves. So that was fun. Uh, the main thing that was causing the problem was... Uh, me? <laughs> um... I'm I got I'm getting a little fancy with our throne room. I'll I'll show you. Our throne room has a glass floor that I'm working on that looks out directly into the cave layer beneath. Um, so I've been slowly chipping away at you know digging out tiles and replacing them with glass, um, which has gone mostly okay. But this last round, uh, there were some there was some fighting going on with some ant people and giant homes and such down there. And all my dwarves decided to go participate. Don't know why. They just, you know, climbed down out of the fort on trees into the cave and got murdered by cave by ant people. Alms. The alms were really what did it. So yeah, um, <laughs> we're we're dealing with that. Uh, let's just do. More, always more, more tombs. Specifically made, started my tombs in a section where I'm not like, actively developing, because this whole side of the map is just going to be tombs by the end. Yeah. Um, here's our tombs. Here's our downstairs tombs. Here, you want Our upstairs tombs are up here. We also have... All these. Uh, we have an upstairs fortress that I've moved out of. Uh, just recently finished moving out of. Look at all this. All this empty space. So much room for activities. Uh, we were commenting in an earlier stream that this is like prime child play area. An entire decommissioned fortress. I have seen children up here just playing on a goose. Um, this is all like a retired fortress area. Um, but yeah, we've lost several dwarves. But we already had another migration wave. We're back up to 160. Um, I've refilled my... my squads. Um, most of them are wearing their things. Okay, so they're getting there. We have so much... crap. Um, need to be building tombs, making sure all my work orders are good. Um, eyes glaze over immediately as I look at the gigantic work order screen. Uh, um, offer. I want coffin. Scroll over it, probably. Coffin. One. Not that many. I do need a lot of coffins. Um, if less than 20. Yeah, okay. Keep working on it. Um, oh, and our waterfalls are back on. Okay, perfect. So now we have water flowing from up above into these little cisterns, and then overflows into these spots. And it flows down, and it hits here. See all the mist. Um, the mud was unintentional. The trees are unintentional. 
basically turn this into a unintentional underground farm. So that's fine. Um, yeah, everyone designs so differently. Uh, dirty bath water powers the wheels. Yes. Dirty bath water fills the wells. <laughs> um, most, like, this is our main well. Most of it's flowing away. But I put, uh, I made space for myself to put more wells in the corners here. And over here. But yeah. Um, <laughs> dirty dwarves go here. Dirty water goes here. And it goes here. And then there's probably going to be a well here someday. They don't care. It's it's fine. <laughs> um, you can even see... Oh! Human bard found dead. Um, you can even see the water wheels turning. Like, this is Steam version blowing my minds type stuff. But, like, look at that. Um, you can see the water is flowing underneath. Turning these up above, turning a, a little axle, and then turning the millstones, and then everyone milling plants, because we probably just had a, a harvest uh, coming in and, and milling our dimple cups and stuff. It's great, yeah. And we're, we're probably making clothes, making silk cloak. Making booze. Yeah. We're back up to 30 FPS. Oh my god. Everything's looking up. <laughs> Still have dead doors everywhere. <laughs> um, let's check on this. Oh, oof. It's a, down to... What happened? Five? That was weird. Um, here, I can make some more tombs here. Um, so, let's, oh, there it goes. Oh, why did that happen? Why did we just tank? Hmm. Is this my computer? No. Oh, and we're back. Okay. Sure. I don't know what that was. Uh, a masterwork has been lost. Oh, uh, why is there fire here? Am I missing... What am I missing? Something's happening. Uh, um... Does someone want to explain? Do we have any forgotten beasts that I have forgotten about? No. All these aged naked mole dogs. Fire Imp. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, that, great question. I think we have a Fire Imp. Where is it? Here it is. So, I believe what happened here is that a Fire Imp came from our magma and wandered into our cave. And it is being a, mag uh, being a Fire Imp. Um, I'm gonna. Oh, they still have a stage order. I'm gonna give a kill order. Kill the fire amp. <laughs> to maybe mitigate that a little. I can't even see it underneath all the fire. I've seen a couple of fire amps in here. Um, of course you do. Ever since the queen died, our duke has been demanding up a storm. 
Um, yeah, see, it's just... Oh, it's killing crundles. Probably. Oh, there's a wrestler here. Uh-oh. Where's our... Where's our fire imp? I can't even see what's going on. There's two fire imps. Whoop, oh, there it goes. Or no, maybe it's just the one. Uh, oh, caged. Overcome by terror. Anyone want a fire imp? Uh, can it burn through its cage? Uh, it is a wooden cage. The cage itself appears to be fine. I think it might have just been the one. It was just running around real fast. Let's see. Uh, friendlies, invaders. There's a couple of ant people around. One fire imp caged. Oh, a named fire imp. Also here. Painted take. Do you have a kill? Uh, yep, you killed a dwarf. Okay, where is... Where is it? A fire. A fire. Yes. I do have a stream schedule. Um, so a Dwarf Fortress on Mondays and Thursdays, but not this Thursday. Um, I'll be unavailable this Thursday, uh, but definitely next Monday. And then I've been doing uh, Elden Ring randomizer speedruns on the weekend. Um, this weekend will probably be Sunday. Um, I've been kind of... I've been thinking about moving what days or adjusting things maybe slightly. Um, but I do have the schedule posted on my Twitch. Um, if you want to check there, that's probably going to be the most up-to-date. Um, and if I make any permanent changes, I'll probably post it on uh, on Mastodon, is where I've been doing Twitch-related socially things. Um, but yes, um, current plan is this will be happening again next Monday, same time. Definitely, definitely welcome to come back and uh, see if we're still alive. <laughs> we haven't burnt down everything. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Perfect, yeah. Have a good one. See you next Monday. I'll be here. Uh, you. Like. He should be in the middle. Here he is. Okay. Under the smoke, under the fire. Yeah. Even the dwarf corpse there. Here you are. Kill it. It just spits fire. Okay. I think we're okay. This is fine. Um, it is going to burn all of our corpses. We're going to have to make some tombstones. What a mess. Oh, boy. Uh, it's not continuing that way, at least. Um, are you okay? Are you gonna... Are you just gonna get stuck between all the fire? Yes, absolutely. This is fine. That's him. This is fine. What are you actually thinking? How disgusting. Mm. 
like burning dwarf corpses accidentally is probably not good. Uh oh. Oh, that was a different one. Okay. We lost some masterworks, but that's because it was gear. So probably some masterwork steel stuff that they were wearing, or like masterwork uh, like bracelets and stuff. I'm not too worried. I'm worried about you. You're kind of surrounded all on all sides, aren't you? Good luck. Um, tumbling around obliviously. <laughs> More migrants. Um, I should make sure we don't have any grazers that I need to assign to our pasture. These do not just stand in the fire. Did you just... Welp. That's a dead dwarf. The leader, even. Hmm. Novice mace dwarf, sure. They are all novices now. These are our new people, then. Peasants. Peasants are good for soldiers. Ooh. An alerty lyric. If the port burns down, at least I can see to a fresh playthrough. Totally. Um, yeah, that's totally fine. Um, I would like to get this fortress to. I mean, you don't really complete a fortress, right? But I. Odd. Uh. Bats. There's an ant person, a bat, skeleton, and a dead dwarf. Um, yeah. Everyone probably just ran away screaming because of the fire. Which is a proper reaction, I guess. We haven't actually done anything this stream yet. We've just reacted to terrible things happening. Um, I would like to... So this is our capital of our civilization. I kind of want to get this fortress to a mature state, and then I can retire it. And then my goal is to start a new fortress in the same world, in the same civilization. Try and get some cross interactive things going on there. So there will be eventually a, a new fortress, but I think we are... I think we can survive this. Um, let's go up here. We have a, I have this nice indoor pasture here. If there's anyone that's gotten assigned... Oh, cavern collapse. That's good. Uh oh. at a time. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's see. Straight baby llama. A lot of puppies. Mm, I think that's all it's grazing. Yeah. Bunch of plump helmet men in cages. Okay. Where are we collapsing? This is probably a tree again. Yeah. We're just going to burn this whole forest. This entire cave. Burn to the ground. Cool. Recruit missing for a week. Pencils pick up equipment. Oblivious. Um, no. We're, we're taking out the trash. Slowly. 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna assign all this for dumping as well. But they'll take them down to the incinerator, and then that will make room for the rest of our garbage. Uh, you don't want to, or not the wheelbarrow. Not dump the dwarves. We want to bury the dwarves. As much as we can, at least. Whoever still has corpses. Cool. Being a little, a little sluggish. What's happening now? More fire? Fire is probably not great for frame rates. Uh, more. No coffins. No coffins. Uh, with some doors. Uh. isn't even enough. Fortunately, we don't have any very many digging projects going on right now. It took us a long while to dig out all this. This lower fortress area. Um... Yeah, let's just keep We'll just keep going this way. Like that. Uh, To remember what was even happening before we dealt with all this. I uh, dealt with the fish. Oh, here we go. But the aftermath of help dealing with the fish is more cleanup. So it's going to be... Oh, I know what we can do. We have obsidian to mine. We can start making obsidian things. I also want to build some walls around the first cave layer to kind of prevent more cavefish people from showing up. Ideally. Uh, I'll just plan for everyone dying. Had so many deaths and new people that I probably need to look at my labor screen again, too. Okay. Call that good for the moment. Um, but. This is all... The magma has mostly calmed down. There's still a little couple of pools around. That's fine. Um, this is just hilarious, mostly. Um, but this is all obsidian in here. Because I... This was a lake. And it was filled with cavefish people. And then I dropped magma on top of it from above, from up here. So. Um, oh, I know what I should do. I should pull these. Now that magma has been cleared. Pull that once. Of course, I'm not going to actually 
the original plan was to dump magma from down here and um i guess and up here as well but i just i hacked a little bit so we're skipping that um but we can dump some water from above and that'll that'll deal with this last little bit i think uh, duke has mandated what do you want more little boots of course So we'll keep an eye on this. I want to miss, make sure that this opens. This was all a pain. This took like three streams to actually finish. This is all aquifer. And I'll tell you, magma and aquifers don't mix very well. At least if obsidian is not the thing you're trying to make. I'm just going to straight up erase this. It's all fine. I don't care. <laughs> Administrator missing for a week. I'm expecting the need to make a whole lot of slabs. Interrupted by giant bat. There we go. I was just going to say, we're going to need slabs, but I'm just going to make them for the ghosts as they show up. Um, so here, I'm going to add a task for engraving for Kib. I'll take care of that once we place it. Um... bats. Are we being harassed by bats down here? See if we get more cancellations from bats. You're fine. You're fine. People over here. Come on over here. There's still fire. You were running. Drowsy. Hmm. And see, they're just grabbing all these little skeletons. Leap? Okay. Uh, what were you... You are going to drink. Okay. We're going to try to clean up this entire cave. That's going to take a little while. <laughs> Just a little fire left. Um, okay. So if I want this cave to be open, then I want it to be safer. All I have are these four cage traps. Protecting, you know, my inside from my outside. And I had a thought for a way that we can use our magma here. To our advantage. And I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a bridge. And the bridge is going to close this way. Needs to be anchored on edge. Right, okay. So then we can do like this. I'm just gonna go far as I can. Why not? Um, then same thing, but here. I'm also opposing this way, and we'll go like this. I'll have to build those first, but my thought is um, oh, we'll, we'll also need some walls. Um, I'm gonna have. You know, make a wall here, basically. I'll just do that first. Wall. 
Uh, I'm not going to use closest because that's going to be a bunch of iron bars. Almost certainly. Yeah. Um, where's my blocks? Oh, we got a bunch of clear blocks. Clear glass already. Um, granite blocks. What did these use closest? Iron bridge. Yeah. Hold on. Steel bridge. No. Not that. Uh, this way. Like this. And then we use it. Or should this be? Should this be magma safe? We'll do. We'll do Gabbro. Just in case. And then we'll do this. Same thing. Couple blocks. Um. Then basically, I'm gonna I'm gonna need to chop down some of these trees, I guess. Uh, but that's fine. Gonna get them out of the way. But I'm gonna make it so that the only way to get from the cave here into our fortress proper is to go down and across, and then up and across. And then you can come up and well, I guess. I guess I did this wrong. Uh, right, okay. Here's what I need. The idea being, if, some, if there's a whole bunch of ant people who want to come in and, and path into our fortress from outside, I'm gonna have to go over all this, and I can just pull a lever and retract the bridges, and they fall into the lava. That's the idea. Means I want to make a wall basically like this. Yeah, it's a little tight in here, but whatever. Um, and of course, there's a ceiling here, so I have to go up a little bit. So that's also fine. Yeah. Needs pearl ash. Do we have pearl ash? Pearl ash is what I'm using for clear glass. Um, so the question is, did we stop making it, or is it just not where it needs to be? Potash, pearl ash. We have some pearl ash. Um, that's in here somewhere. Make pearl ash. That's going. This is active. Okay, so it's it's fine. Okay, we're fine. We're getting job cancellations for something, but the thing that's holding it up is in progress, so I'm not gonna do anything with it. Just gonna let it sort itself out. Um, where are these giant bats? It was there. Um, yeah, it needs pearl ash. I'm just gonna ignore that one. End of the mandate. Making good stuff. Killing things. Count Erdem. It's like, it's too old already. Okay. Well. Well, well, well. Um, I'm going to tell our squads to station down here for just a moment, just because I do still want to keep this secure while people are running around out here. It's still on fire. Hey, caravan. Yeah, it's a sock. 
flaming sock. Um, oh, but we should check our this. Yeah, okay. So all this water came out and it drained and it probably splashed down. And yeah, okay. So there's less less magma than there used to be. Um, I want to start mining this obsidian because it's worthwhile to have obsidian. Or it's at least cool to have obsidian. Um, let's just do... Mm. Like that, and then we'll just, we'll channel down. Should be fine. We'll have to deal with all that too. Hooray. Uh, we might have a slab for our ghost. Going to find it. Nope. Not yet. We are probably way backlogged on jobs. No. Actually, not too bad. Uh, it's probably being moved to a stockpile. That's probably why it's not showing up yet. Um, but we can do more tombs. Um, use clothes. More places for the bodies. How many of these are assigned immediately? Almost all of them. Wow. More doors. Got a lot of doors, at least. That is a lot of doors. <laughs> okay, let's check this again. Lab. No. Hmm. Maybe someday. Merchants have arrived. Okay, let's trade. I do not have a broker. A broker is dead. Legendary negotiator. Is that? Lika is, yeah, okay. And my mayor. That's funny. So this, we have a duke and a baron, baroness, because like the duke is our duke. Baroness, we had a visiting baron who died while on the map, and Lickot was the heir to that baron. So she became the baroness of Clasp Charm, wherever that is. But because she's our citizen, I have to take care of her needs. <laughs> she has all of her stuff with us, uh, but she's also our mayor. 
And she's also apparently a legendary negotiator. And a legendary appraiser. And a legendary consoler. And a legendary pacifier. Holy cow. My main concern about making her also the broker is because if she's the mayor, then you might... Like, I'll want the broker to go trade, but the mayor's going to be doing mayor -y things, like meeting with people. Um, so sometimes that can stink. Um, but she is by far the best negotiator. Um, is anyone else a good... Appraiser. Novice Appraiser. Novice Appraiser. Yeah, no, it's gotta be you. Plus, you already have all your stuff. Um, so that's fine. Um, yeah, okay. So, Broker requested. Going to move some bins. Are these... Who is this? These are dwarves. Yeah, these are dwarves. Okay, good. Bins. Um, all the leather. That stuff to keep. Keeping that. All of our quivers. Here we go. That's nothing, but okay. Uh, here we go. Um, and our worn clothing. I've been trading away our partially worn clothing as much as possible. So that's what this is. Um, short. Three pants. Uh, quivers, quivers. Okay. Uh... There, that's 10,000, almost 10,000 worth of worn clothing. Uh, okay, and then... Here we go. Leather. This one. This one. We've been making so much stuff. Okay. That should be fine. Moving 11 crates. But, you can even see, all those crates are right here. Those people are just going to grab crates from these stockpiles and just put them over there. Are you waiting for the mayor to show up longer than for the goods to show up? Um... We found a book, even. Give birth to an alpaca. Brewing jobs are getting caught up. Glass is still waiting on pearl ash. Someone's oblivious. Um, need melt designated item. Wow. There's plenty of things to melt. I can tell you that. I just need to mark more. Um, but I might wait on that so that people can finish dealing with the trash first. Interrupted by giant bat. Cancel cut gems need rough gems. Wow. We have so many cut gems. Um. Okay. Where the heck is... Giant bat is fighting a sword dwarf. That's at least down here by where we're all grouped up, so... That's essentially fine. How many bats do we have? Just dealing with bats on a regular basis sounds kind of miserable, doesn't it? Uh, there's a couple bats. They just like... Oh, and there's an ant person. Yeah, ant person fighting a bat. Ant, Spearman, and Giant Bat. You... What? Can they just not hit each other? 
We're both in the air. What is happening here? Okay, well, you two have fun. Uh, oh, and that's way over on the other side anyway. Okay. Uh, my soldiers are going to be real grumpy for being stationed in Miasma for so long. Especially Miasma of Dwarf Miasma. Uh, oh well. And what are you grabbing? So you can even say Hall, Ash, and Cage. Okay. There are fewer Dwarf Corpses here than there were before. I do still see one. Someone's something. Uh, there's much less stuff here than there used to be. And that's a good thing. So much. So much. Um, All this stuff ready to be incinerated. I don't want to pull the lever while people are actively putting stuff on it. Uh, just so no one <laughs> takes a bath unintentionally. There's all our forge stockpiles. There's sand for glass. Is this where my pearl lash goes to? No, where do I put... No, pearl lash goes in here. Giant bar block stockpile. Yeah, okay. We have pearl ash. It just needs to be taken from the shop and put in the stockpile. So you can see someone's working on it. And someone's working on making pearl ash. Perfect. Okay. Tombs. How are tombs going? Uh, furniture berry. Oh. Okay. And you probably need to check more frequently. Yeah. Coffins every day. Let's see if we have a slab. Mm. Why not? Ghostly pump operator needs a slab. Add. Ib. Uh, we'll need to not forget about trading. Hey, look. Fine. I'll do you before I forget. Three more quivers. I need to trade quivers just because I have so many. Okay. Trade. Oh, we have DF hack stuff going on here too. Uh, select items since I've been collapse single bin collapse all. Okay. Um. The main thing that I'm importing right now is sand because I don't have any on my map or my throne room. Um, and instruments was the other thing. can add up in price very quickly. Um, if I just say everything, 22k, that works. Let's grab some instruments.
Gemis, Erith, Rig, Mib. Oh, I noticed that I have, like, no toys. I'm gonna grab some toys. Uh, there's a rabbit, a ram, a llama, turkey, alpaca. Lots of barrels, lots of buckets. Weapons, yes, yes, I can make weapons. Uh oh, training weapons. That's not a bad idea. Mm. Armor, socks, bucklers, helms, hoods. You just have everything, don't you? One of everything. And. And. Not a whole lot of sand, but probably enough. Rock nuts. Uh, white sand, red sand. Black sand, red sand. Whole bunch of bolts. What about books? Do you have any books? Meat, fish, helmets. Good. Lots of thread. Don't need quiver. Cheese. I also don't need cheese. I have so much cheese. Bookbinding scroll, the secret of surveying. I feel like we have that even. Surveying for everyone. Surveying, natural or supernatural. Surveying, my life. My life with observation. Interesting. Uh, instrument parts. Some codices. Or. Some blank sheets. Okay. We're still making almost 7,000 in profit. Uh, let's. Right. Cool. Wow. That was a big trade. Um, no one requested. Thank you, Baroness. Um, manager is stumbling around obliviously. That's fine, right? Oh, cool. So now we have the thing, just waiting for it to show up in a stockpile. Update. And we're making more coffins. Ooh. Strange mood. At this point, we'll just be happy that it's not a macabre mood. Because we have enough grumpy people for that to happen. What is... Oh, the Reacher. Bat killed the Reacher. That's impressive. Uh, we're over here. We're still okay. There are still some dwarf corpses. Oh, here's a saw one. Uh, oh, it's a corpse. Um, these are all still fully populated. You going. This item in tomb. Oh, that's not the blueprint. Uh, that one. The body down here somewhere. Hmm. <laughs> 
And now you're running. Here's the bat. At least you ran to safety. You've seen how not guaranteed that is. Um, while I still have some people stationed here and I know that we're safe or in the immediate sense, I'm going to work on some more glass floor. Like this. Probably have enough for that. I have all of these. No one's restricted from being in here. Here's why no one's grabbed those little bodies yet. <laughs> All the webs. We just have spiders everywhere. But you know, it's fine. Um, okay. Well, at the very least, we've improved our frame rate this stream. Uh, we were down to 15, now we're almost up to 30. And we're working on throwing away more garbage, so maybe we'll... Might creep all the way back up to 30 by the time we're done here. Fingers crossed. Um, there. Let's do construct floor. And then we'll do clear glass blocks. Construct floor. All. And then I'm waiting on the one last one. Miasma coming up from below. Oh man. Yes. I didn't realize it rose so high. <laughs> More migrants. This throne room is filled with these very nice uh, encrusted sterling silver statues because our queen really liked sterling silver. Or she's dead now. Um, but it's her aesthetic in here. Uh, construct. Construct. Or. Oh, is something else happening? Our frame rate is. Frames, please. There. Long click. I see. Okay. What the heck is happening now? I'm going to sign this before I get distracted. Oh. Okay. Um. Somebody is fighting. are fine, if only in Miasma. Fire anywhere? I don't see any... It's gonna take a minute, aren't they? Um... There's something going on up here. Why hasn't anyone dug this? Can anyone get here? You can definitely get here. Or no, I need to open the door. Aha. Uh -huh. Remembering. Oh, that's what I should do. I should make sure all my levers do what they need to do. Oh, see, it, it came up. Uh, I 
have two things linked to the same lever. That's what's going on. Ugh. Um, so that means I probably want to disassemble the lever. I don't want to have to reconnect to the river one. The, connect the other one it's connected to is this. I short-circuited my river control and my farm access. That's real cool. I think we're going to uh, deconstruct this bridge. We will tell this one to be... Pull? No, I want to pull this one. And then I'm going to deconstruct that. Does that work that way? Do I have to pull it first? Or no, I can do it this way. There we go. I want to remove it. Um, and then you need to be connected to something. So lever room. Um, deep entrance. Right, right. Magma cisterns. All magma stuff. Cave two forge stair gate. No. All cistern flow. Yeah. Leave one farm out north and south. Oh, so this is what I want to connect. There. And this I told to get pulled, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, migrants. Uh, okay, someone's working on something. Hard found dead. It happens. Oh, needs big tail seeds. You were found dead here. There's a lot of corpses down here. Uh, let's try to place this slab again. Come on. It was Kimberlite, wasn't it? There it is. There it is. And all of our tombs. We have empty tombs. Couple. Oh, different mayor. That hasn't happened in quite a while. Um, I'm okay with that, though, because uh, that means that our broker isn't our mayor. Just means I need to figure out which one of our nobles' rooms doesn't have a person. This one. So this is our mayor, right? Because this is... This should be... This should be our baroness. That's just a random person grabbed this. Uh, bedroom. I'm gonna give this to... Uh... Manager? Oh, bro, 
broker. Broker doesn't get stuff on its own, right? So now, wait, what happened? Did she just... Oh look, another fire. Good. Um, I think I just lost that Baroness. Hmm. Yeah. Mandate is ended. Is it because she's dead? Because she's dead. Burned to death by Fire Imp. Where is the Fire Imp? Right? What? What is happening? Uh, couple of ants, couple of bats. A whole bunch of crundles and some fire imps. Ring there. Hmm. How do I deal with that? I think I want to wall this off in such a way they can't get in, I guess? Or that they would have to go over some traps. I guess weapon traps is the main thing. I can make those out of fire-safe things, at least. Um, I wish someone would cut these. Do I have a thing that I said I was going to do? We still have a good handful of miners. We have one woodcutter. That's the problem. Um, no one's any good at it. I'm going to tell some bards to take care of it. They're a planter. Now uh, we have zero hunters. And of course, all the ones that are good at Mark's Dwarving are either in a military squad or the manager for the course. Um, planters. Expert planter. Oh, but you're in a squad. Mm. I'm going to place you with... Um, this is all fine. Everybody does this. Everybody does this. A handful of very good engravers. Give them more jobs. They, and they're not dedicated to it. And everyone does these. And then we have look at our smith. Legendary armor smith. And uh, do we have legendary weapon smith? Not quite. Um this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These haven't died. I haven't had to refill the, the smiths in quite a while, so. That's good. Those are those are very valuable. Um, anyway, I'm going to... How's this going to work? It's going to be like this. Uh, except I don't want to close off to my dwarves. Yet. No, not closest. Gonna make it out of steel or something stupid. Wall. Left. Um. I'll just. Um. I think what's gonna happen is. 
this little corridor right here is going to turn into weapon traps. Um, yeah. We'll start, we'll start with that. Um, hopefully these trees get chopped down. I'm gonna dig that and then put another wall. Like this, basically. Someone could chop these up. Great. Oh, there are still imps here, of course. Okay. The fighting right next to lava sounds awful. Nobody jump in. Did you catch that? I guess, okay, so he didn't die. He just found this corpse. Okay. Um, but he just turned a corner and sniped a fire imp, didn't he? A scorpion punter. Flying bolt strikes the fire imp in the head, tearing apart the brain. Imp is was knocked unconscious, I guess. Then it, it didn't die. It just is it still alive? There's no way. Oh, it's right there. You've been shot in the head. Where's my? Here's you. <laughs> Stressed, bleeding, on fire. Fight on the traps. Odd. Oh, uh oh. Where did you go? Fire imp in the fortress. Right? Couldn't have gone that far. Ooh. There's one here. I want to kill that one, obviously. Where's the other? I don't want to lose track of fire imps. That sounds bad. Uh, Wand grabbers. That's cool. What do I see? I only see one fire imp. That one's in a cage. You. The one with the name. Okay. Well, I only see the one. Okay. Oh, no! Scorpion Punter, killed by a fire imp. And then it just immediately died on a weapon trap. So that was... Not great. Or... No, that must have been the other one. This one, the named one. Yeah. Popped into a weapon trap. It's not from exhaustion. It's too bad this couldn't happen before killing my dwarf. Uh, but that at least takes care of that, I guess. What's what are we doing here? Still a whole bunch. Um, let's station down here so you're not in the miasma. Um, yeah. 
or s how about the weapon trap is on fire? No, it's fine. It's fine. How do we still have this ghost? Didn't I tell you to deal with this? Still just hasn't happened. Okay. Someone is making something. Needs rock, lock, red. Oh, you need I've you need rough gems, and I've cut all my gems. Hmm. Hmm. I know there's gems in here, but you also have to be a little careful. Just now getting to that part. Um, let's do mining. We'll do only items. And my struggle being a person with color blindness is that these gems are kind of hard to pick out sometimes. Uh, we ever we opened here? Okay, so we're good here. Anything over here? It's pyrite cluster. Um, and then over here. Also, I think I want to build some walls. Close in some of this space in our cave. <laughs> this is still warm from all the magma. I'll just hope that our dwarves are smart enough. Not walk through magma. For anything that's like a square of nine, like a three by three, if there's a space inside a wall of obsidian and, and gems and stuff, uh, you need to be careful. Like these, binding into a wall like that. Potentially dangerous. For reasons that I have not actually experienced directly. But have uh, been informed of. Mm -hmm. So I'm like this. That's. And then if you go above, yeah, obsidian. I want what's in there, but I want to be careful about it. Um, okay, so that's probably enough gems for someone strange mood, at least. Anything in here? No. That's all fine. Uh, okay. Should be fine for strange mood. Um, of course, more people are dead. Five seconds and a do death notification. Name of better duo. Um, oh, I need to... That's right. I didn't finish. It's... Mayor. Oh, that's right. I... Got confused as to why I couldn't find the Baroness, and the Baroness was not there because she was a burning corpse, and I had to deal with fire imps. The things you get distracted by in this game. Uh, so this is for Mayor. Mayor. And then we need a new broker. Our old broker got. Novice appraiser? I want... 
good appraisers. Was she the only one good at this? Um, I wish there was a way to just compare a skill. Not all of the relevant skills. Uh, I don't see any appraisers. Efficient appraiser. Bookkeeper. Bookkeeper can be broker. That's fine. That's fine. We'll do it that way. Um, okay, so you're fine, you're fine. What is this? Oh. Oh, we even had a single cave fish come in. Mm, man, they're so tall. I am going to put to rest. Perfect. I'm going to chop down some of these. Um, and I'm going to build a wall here. Neat. Let's see if that can prevent some fishy friends from getting in. Here too. We're gonna have to chop all these trees. That's a lot of trees. Uh, construct. Good thing I made all those granite blocks. Uh, okay, and then all of these trees. These. These, these trees. someone busy for a second. Um, okay, now I can even start designating our obsidian mining. Um, so I'm going to do this little lower priority. I'm just going to take like a chunk here. Just right, none of that's I'm assuming they'll give me warm stone cancellations if they need to. Yeah, this all seems fine. Okay. We'll just do it like that, and we'll we'll start there, and we'll go forward. Ghost was put to rest. So many visitors. Um, still needing pearl ash. Someone wants to melt things real badly. This is our melt pile. Our goblinite pile, basically. Um, but we have so much... Like, I don't need to melt anything. I'm just gonna... Look at all this. We just need to deal with what we have. This is getting built, but still not popped. And these got suspended. Uh, that might be okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yep, here they come. Okay. The fish do not want to go quietly. Fortunately, we have some weapon traps here. Oh, run! Again with this. Eternally fish. Okay. Okay. Oh, run. Shoot! Shoot! 
We're busy here. Don't. Child. Terrify while in conflict. The battle rages. I must press on. You are one years old. Zuglar. You are wearing clothes and nothing else. What makes you think you need to attack the fish people in this situation? And they're just spilling out everywhere now. Um, let's turn our bro back on for the moment. Uh, we've also gotten some... Yeah. Do that. Hopefully the weapon traps take care of some more of these. Yeah. Boy. Same group, yeah. They really want to be in our water. No. The same? Nope, it's a different child. This one is six. Oh, here's a soldier. Ooh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. They showed up just in time. Instead of right after just in time. Which was what they've been doing before. Okay, here they go. We're here in numbers. So are they, but... We got our steel stuff on. Child. No. Okay. It's a lot, but we're doing okay. Oof. Okay. Yep, good. Good. Over there. As long as they are, like, buddied up and not on their own, we can take care of the fish people. As long as we're on land and not alone. You're wearing your stuff. That is all we need to actually take care of the fish people. And yet, it is so hard. Um, I'm going to check to see that there's nothing else that snuck around. Just some more corpses. Remnants of other fires. Okay. There's the one that I see. Uh huh. Of course, we've caged another half a dozen. There's three. One, two. One. Where are you? Probably near those two at least. Uh, one, two. No, okay. Well, well, well those two at least. You look more corpses to deal with. There's one, two, three. Okay, sweet. Is that all of them? Please, no more fish. Visitor chained. Oh, that's Zon. Yeah, that's Zon. Uh, no more. Okay. 
Oh, we could train bats. Hmm. Oh. Dealt with bat invasion. Hooray! Uh, let's turn the bat back off. That'll solve all the jobs. Um, yeah. Our traps did some work there. That was good. Um, this is basically the end of when I usually stop streaming for the day. And that might be a good note to end on. Uh, not catastrophe. Thank goodness. One. Okay. Um, I want to check on our cave down here. We still have some corpses. We'll have one dwarf, two dwarf. Which is much better than it was. There's still a forgotten beast corpse here. Still a bunch of bats and ant people. Um, this is still on fire. Neat. Um, we'll work on this next time. This whole, this whole section in here is going to get some attention. If, if we're going to get continued fire imps just wandering into our fortress, then we need to make sure that this is okay. Um, we'll, we'll figure that out. Um, but our... Uh, like this all got made, right? No, that's still okay. None of our canceled. Just waiting. Um, this slowly making progress. Very slowly. Here we will dump all that once taking care of more of it. Yeah. Um. And then tombs, eternally tombs. If we have any more muffins, real quick. Uh, <laughs> a couple. Okay. Boom. Done. And then, I mean, we have some that aren't occupied at least. Um, I haven't buried a single animal. We have this many coffins and I haven't buried any animals in this entire fortress. Ridiculous. Um, yeah, so that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, our, these are off, right? Active. Oh, I never pulled the, never pulled the lever. I can turn these off. Okay. Here. Go. There. And we'll pull that. And that'll turn off our pump stack. We don't need it. Um, we did kind of a one-time pump. And it happened. So, we're good. Um, yeah. So, let's... We'll, we'll end where we started. Um, there's slightly less carnage. There was some carnage in the middle there. We'll save and return. And then, yeah. Um, cool. Door Fortress. Hooray. Um, I will be continuing this fortress. I will not be available at the end of this week. I usually do Mondays and Thursdays, uh, but not this Thursday. So I will be back on next Monday, a week from today. We will pick up right where we left off. Um, if you're interested in the history of this fortress, the whole thing is up in VOD form on my YouTube. Um, or at least most of it is. There's like three or four episodes that haven't gone up yet, um, but I'm, I'm working on it. So they're all there, or they will be. Um, or you can check out next week, and we will continue forward. Um, 
I've been doing Elden Ring randomizer live streams on randomizer speedruns even. It's been great. Um, th those are also chill streams. If you like chill stuff, then come back. Um, uh, we're, we're chilling. We're doing weird stuff. We're playing games. Um, so Elden Ring will be on Sunday this week. I've been doing Saturdays. We'll do Sunday this week. And then we'll have Monday Dwarf Fortress, and the following Thursday Dwarf Fortress. Um, and then we'll see, I don't know if Elden Ring will live on Saturdays or Sundays. Um, I'll, I want to play around with the days and see if that attracts more different people or something. I don't know. I say that you should, like, you should experiment with things, so I'll probably experiment with things. Anyway, I'm just here talking now. So, yeah. Um... I already said all the things. <laughs> um, have have a good have a good day. Have a good rest of the week. Have a good week, and and stay kind.